What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Wicked Wednesday here on Black and Red Builds. So good to have you here. This is the third installment of Wicked Wednesday on Black and Red Builds. If you're interested in the other builds that I've done, I'll leave a link right up here to that playlist. Pretty cool Halloween models. Every Wicked Wednesday we do another Halloween model. Next Wednesday I'll be doing my last Wicked Wednesday of the year. And it'll be a 1200 piece brick build haunted house. So stay tuned for that one. That's going to be pretty cool. But today we're building a nightlight. A haunted Halloween nightlight to keep you feeling safe while you're in your bed from those things that go bump in the night in your house. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. <laughs> All right, guys, here it is. It's a very unassuming box. I already started filming this once uh, and uh, somehow I must have clicked the mouse or something and turned off the camera. So I already opened it up and took stuff out. Uh, this is the bag of parts that you get. It comes with some glue, a type A to type C, uh, USB cable to power it. It comes with a uh, little board here with a light, the touch sensor, your USB connection, and a few other things. And also one of the uh, standard cheap little screwdrivers that you get in these sets. This is our instruction manual here, and this is what it's going to look like. Very, very cool. Again, when I see stuff like this, it catches my eye. That's what I want to build. They make some of these for Halloween, Christmas. Then they make some really cool, just different uh, outdoor scenery, rivers, woods, stuff like that. So they're pretty small little night lights to just sit on your nightstand. But this one really caught my eye. I love the look of it, so... Let's see inside. This is going to be a pretty small build, so I'm just going to do a step-by-step -step on it. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty much it. You're going to layer the pieces uh, together and add your lights and things, and we'll have this neat little night light here. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, guys, we have our pieces, uh, some of our pieces laid out here. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six that we're going to be putting together first. We're going to start with the wolf. This is here part three of this show. So we're going to take it this way and we're going to put two of these on. Okay, and it's going to go in the third notch here. We have uh, six notches and then one back here. So it's going to go in the third notch like that. And we're going to put two of them on here and here. Right there in that third notch. Just like that. You know, we're just going to put the rest of them in. I'm going to go ahead and put in number two right in front of it. So each one is numbered, as you can see right there is the two. So they all have a number in the corner, and the two is going to go in the second slot. Get that one put in. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put number one right in the front. Just like that. And get it in without knocking all of these other ones off. There he goes. Okay, now I'm going to put number four in. Make sure they're all in the right direction. Just make sure the numbers are all just, you know, on the same corner. There you go. And now we'll get number five in. So each one of these, as you can see, is adding another depth there. Pretty cool. I love stuff like this, these little 3D things. All right. And the last one. Drag it in the right direction. Yeah, like that. Then we're going to put two on the top, same way. Have these little dividers here. Getting all of them at once. Might be a little tricky. All right. Get another one on. I'm hoping the more we get on, the easier they'll be. This one seems to be going a little easier. Famous last words, right? There we go. Yeah, that one that one went in pretty easy. Okay, like that. Yeah, we'll say that the instructions on this aren't the best instructions in the world. They don't really tell you much. As you can see here, it just it shows putting these on the one side 
and then over here it shows putting them on the top but it, then it shows them all the way around it so but you still got to put this piece these pieces in so i don't know a little tricky but uh let's go ahead and uh keep going i think it'll be all right we're just gonna have to you know we'll, we'll get it and we have a1 and a2 that are these two pieces here this is going to be the back panel all right led goes here so let's get that out all right looks like these are all already on the board so i don't know if that's a good thing or not but that's how they are i believe this goes on like this and it says to glue it so i'm going to put a little glue on there and glue this light on right there so then the wires can go through this hole and just like that i'm not going to use their glue though i'm going to use super glue because it dries faster put a little bit on here okay center the light on and just hold it down on there like that okay i'm gonna let that dry and we have uh p5 which is this yellow piece I think this is going to give us our orange kind of tint, orangey yellow nighttime haunty tint. Okay, this is going to go in here. This is going to set in just like this in between these wooden pieces. I think it says to glue it. I don't know if it needs glued or not, but this I believe it says to glue it. And then this is going to go right uh, here in front of it. Yeah, I guess we'll put a little glue on there just to hold that in. A little bit on each corner. I'm gonna put a little bit of this a drop on each corner. Maybe a little here and here on the edge. Let's get that put in. I get this on better. That super glue does not seem to want to work on this at all. Yeah, it just doesn't want to dry on this. Weird. Maybe it needs this kind of glue. Right, we'll let that sit for a little bit. This stuff is strong, boy. Make sure you got a well-ventilated area when you're using this. Holy cow. Let me just use some of these little stickers. They give you a bunch of them. You only need a couple uh, for the other parts. So use a couple of these to kind of hold this on. All right, that should hold that on good enough. Okay, let's get this piece put back in. There we go. Now we're gonna put this one on. Make sure our wires are through the hole. There we go. Now we're gonna put these pieces in. Hold everything together. All right, now we have the back piece here. Hey, it looks neat. Okay, so we're gonna put these things on. So I'm gonna unplug this light from it so I can work on it a little easier. There you go. Okay, so this one's gonna go right here and we're gonna screw that in right there with a one of these P9 screws. We have three of these screws came with it. Just screw the electronics on. Get this little screwdriver out. I'm going to screw that in. There's three holes here. Uh, two of them are for the USB plug, and one is for this circuit board. The screws seem a little long, and they do protrude out just a little bit. So, wouldn't screw them in real tight. All right, I'm going to take this USB and put it in. There we go. And we'll screw it in with those two screws. I'm going to screw it real tight. Again, these screws go all the way through. You can see right there. Uh, not, not good. They should be a little shorter. Okay, we'll do it like that. Now this is our touch button here. We're going to peel this off. 
we're going to stick it right here where there's the little round thing shows you right where it goes on the other side there's our touch power so we're going to put it right on that like that and then it wants you to cover this with some of these so it doesn't uh short out on anything there we go and then we're going to plug this one back in it was right here a little wire management All right, we're going to get some of these out. They give you four of them, I guess, in case you break one. We're going to try not to break any. Fingers crossed that we don't break any. Go ahead and pop these out. All right, now we got to put the front and back on, and then we have to wrap uh, these around. The best to try to kind of pre bend maybe a little bit. This is the parts right here that you can break. Now, some people will like get these a little wet to make them a little more pliable. I mean, I don't know. I mean, that might work okay. I've never tried it. What I am going to do though is I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and test the lights before I do anything else. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and plug that in and then touch and see if the light comes on. Not seeing anything. Maybe it's not plugged all the way in. All right, we got light. Cool. Let's get this to the back under here. That's the back. This is the front piece. Okay, let's see if we can, let's see if we can get this to work. Okay. Just want to be very careful with this, guys. Three of them in. Try and get this one. Here it is. All right. Okay. Got one of them on successfully. Nice. Let's get this other one on. Come on, get on there. There it is. Okay, a scary one. Good thing is if I do break this one, I got two more. I'm gonna stretch it just a hair. Try to get one at a time, one at a time. Ooh, I think I got those. Last two. Come on, we can do it. I cracked it a little bit right here. See? Take that one back off. I cracked it just a little bit. I'm going to try a different one on it. I could have probably made this one work, but I don't want any cracks in it. All right, here we go. Yeah, I got him. Look at that. Nice. All right. Now you lock these down with these. Basically, you take one of these little flower looking pieces and you're going to put it right here. And we're going to put pins through it. Pretty easier to just put them on here first. Let's see. There we go. That worked out better. Like that. Then we'll put one on this side. Right, let's get the flower piece on. <laughs> all right, guys, and that's all done. Let's uh, plug it in. See how the light looks. Check that out. Pretty cool. I like that. Very neat. We got this whole group of laughing jack-o'-lanterns down here and we have our wolf in the trees and the creepy sky 
got the bats flying back there. Looks like a sunset. Very, very cool looking. I love this little thing. Look at this. What a neat little nightlight. I like it. Let's dim the lights. Alexa, turn the studio light off. Here we go. Check that out. Cool. That's very neat. All right, I like that a lot. All right, guys, we're all done with this one. Let's go ahead and get back to the main camera. All right, guys, like I said, we are all done. Here it is, our neat Halloween night light. I saw these advertising on Facebook is where I seen them, but I don't buy anything off Facebook, so I went to Amazon and looked for them, and I found them on Amazon. So if you guys are interested in these, again, they make them also for Christmas, which I'll be doing during my Christmas videos. I will be doing one. Uh, and uh, they have another, they have a couple of Christmas ones, I think a couple of Halloween Halloween ones, and then they have just some like mountains and rivers and forests and stuff like that. So cool little night lights here. Turn it on, boom, just like that. Check that out. I like how it shines and lights up the jack-o'-lanterns and the, uh, the wolf there looks really menacing. We got some bats flying around. We got the creepy trees. It looks like a creepy sunset in the forest with our jack-o'-lanterns the ghouls are about to come out and play uh, this is how it looks in the back here's our little touch light you just touch it like that light comes on touch it goes off very neat little box very cool three-dimensional little build there uh, again, very kind of easy build, not not the best instructions in the world, uh, but it wasn't too difficult to put together. I would probably suggest this for maybe 14 and up uh, on uh, the age on this. Uh, younger kids would definitely have a tough time getting this put together. So I didn't break any of these here, but I did crack the one there. Fortunately, they give you four of these pieces in case you break something. So I still have uh, another one in here, and this is the one that I kind of just cracked a little right there. My bad, I should have been more careful of pushing that pin piece over and working that on, but uh, cracked it right there. Again, fortunately they give you extras. I could have still used that one, got it on, pushed it down, you probably wouldn't have even noticed it, but I knew the crack was there, so I had to uh, put another piece on, so. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this again, guys. I am just a few subscribers away from 1,000. And when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will make a video doing a giveaway of a Lego Mandalorian helmet. Brand new in the box. Uh, purchased it myself. It is in no way connected with Lego or YouTube. Uh, this will be a giveaway that I'm just doing to uh, one of my subscribers. So I will leave the information in that video on how to enter. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you like these videos, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up, comment, stroll right over there, and kick that subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you next time. I'm Chewy Solo, and this is Black and Red Builds. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.